Hello, my friend, Pastor Kurt here, and I got a question for you. Have you ever said something stupid? Well, if you're married, you better say yes to that question because in relationships, especially marriage, we all say things that we regret. In fact, the Bible tells us our tongues are out of control. James chapter three, I wanna look at it one more time before we move on to James chapter four. Verses seven and eight, it says this. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. Wow, James is being very, very straight with us, and he needs to be, because our tongues do so much damage when they're untamed. Well, how can you tame the tongue? How can you actually say the things you need to say, especially when things are stressful and chaotic and complex? Well, here's the secret. He says no human being can tame the tongue. You know who can? The master. The master can tame the tongue. How does the master tame the tongue? It's very, very simple. He asserts the authority of a Lord over our words. You see, there's two reasons that you and I say things that are inappropriate. One is from an abundance of frustration. You ever been frustrated about some issue, some situation, some relation, and you say something, and you might even be right, but the way you say it comes out of frustration. Here's another thing that causes us to say things inappropriately, and that's out of a lack of empathy. When we don't care for the people around us, when they're not really fleshed out full humans in our point of view, well, we can say some very cold and cruel things. How does a Lord actually tame us in that area? You ever seen this uh, show, um, The Dog Whisperer? It's awesome. These dogs, they're all misbehaving, and the dog whisperer comes in and he controls their behavior. How does he do it? He gives them a Lord, he gives them a master. You see, when a dog doesn't know its place in the pack, when a dog doesn't have the reassurance that someone's in charge, it misbehaves. But once he gets in order and says, you know what, I've got a leader, I've got a Lord in my life, the dog's behavior will change. You and I are just like dogs, my friend. Without the Lordship of Christ in our life, we grow in frustration and we increase in a lack of empathy. When Jesus comes into our life and we feel the fact that he has sovereign control, our frustration lowers. And we feel the fact that he loves us enough to die for us. Well, our empathy for others goes up. And when we know that God's in control and we start loving each other the way Christ loved us, our words change. You can't tame your own tongue. You can't white knuckle your way into saying all the right things. But when you submit to the Lordship of Christ, you can get a sense that God is in charge, even in the chaos. And you can get a sense that God loves you and loves everyone around you. And those things, my friend, lead to the words that bring life. We're going to be studying James chapter 4, and we're going to go deeper into this theme all weekend long at Bayside. Whether you join us by bricks or by clicks, please lean into these lessons. Now more than ever, we need to speak to one another and behave in a way that shows real faith and real maturity. And by the way, we're going to be praying for our nation this weekend. Before you celebrate, let's bow a knee and ask God to bring His grace to our nation this 4th of July weekend.